what is going on you guys so I want to show you guys how to change a tire and the reason why I'm doing this is because well, I was driving with my friend and it occurred to me that he was completely clueless on how to do that and that's pretty bad because as a person who owns a car you should know how to do these things and whether you have access to a phone or not you know that shouldn't matter you should know how to do this regardless so with that I'm gonna show you guys how to do that first thing that you should do when you realize you have a flat tire is you want to find a flat piece of road. Whether you're on the highway or if you're just driving through town, find a flat piece of road. Parking lots are really good because um, they're really flat and you can ensure that you can change the tire without any issues. So what you want to do is you want to put the car in neutral and make sure that the car is not going to roll forwards or backwards. After you are sure that you're on a flat piece of ground, put the car in park or put the handbrake on and turn the engine off, but more importantly, put your flashers on. So if you're on the highway, people know that you're on the side of the road. So one thing that you guys want to get in the habit of doing is to look through your owner's manual and get familiar with how to change a tire, because this is only going to help you guys um, get more familiar with your particular car and know exactly what protocols you need to follow when doing so. Okay, so after you found a safe place to park, you want to get all the equipment out of your trunk. Now. On a lot of cars, the equipment is in the back, but for some trucks and SUVs, it might be under the back seat. So you wanna get familiar with where the stuff is on your car. So for example, our tools are in here for this car. And the spare tire in the jack is right underneath. So the tools you're going to need to change a flat tire are pretty simple. You're going to need a wrench to get the lug nuts off. You're going to need a screwdriver to get the hubcap off if your car has hubcaps. You're going to need the wheel lock key if your car has wheel locks. And this is very important to have because if you don't have this, you're not going to be able to get the lug nuts off. You need your jack to lift the car up and obviously you need your spare tire. Other things that you might consider having are gloves in case it's wet outside or snowing or muddy. You might also want to consider having a flashlight in case it's nighttime and you want to make sure you have enough lighting when you're doing this. And also wheel wedges are a good idea as well to ensure stability of the car and that it's not going to move when you're changing the wheel or even lifting the car up. So the first thing you want to do is if your car has hubcaps, use a screwdriver or use a pry bar and get the hubcaps off because that will reveal the lug nuts. After you do that, it's a good idea to take your wrench and just break the lug nuts free so it's a lot easier to remove them after the car has been lifted. Okay, so after you do that, you can start lifting the car up so you can take the lug nuts off easier and then get the wheel off. One important key thing to remember here is that you make sure that the surfaces of where the jack meets the car and the ground are perfectly flush, that both of those surfaces are even, and that the jack is perfectly perpendicular with the ground and the car to ensure stability. Okay, so after you've done that, you can now get the lug nuts off and take the wheel off. Get your wheel and mount it on the hub. Now, if your car has studs for the wheel to be mounted on, that's easy because you just line it up and you can have the wheel held by the wheel hub. Um, if not, if your car doesn't have wheel studs, you have to match the lug nut holes up with the wheel hub as best you can so you can get the first lug nut on. What you want to do now is you want to take all your lug nuts and tighten them on by hand. Um, after that, we'll use the wrench and torque them as good as we can. It's also important to remember that you want to torque these in a start pattern because that ensures that the wheel is mated with the hub evenly and that you're not going to have any vibrations or any problems when you're driving the car. So 
So now what you can do is you can take your wrench and tighten the lug nuts a little tighter so you can make sure that you can safely lower the car back on its own weight. So after you've done that, if your car has hubcaps, put the hubcap back on and make sure that that's on evenly. Clean up all the tools, put them back in the car, put the spare wheel back in the car, and now you can safely get home or get to the nearest car shop and get your tire changed. So a good habit to get into is to regularly check the tire pressure in your spare tire, make sure you have enough air, so in the event of an emergency, you're going to have a spare tire that you can use. Also, you can check the user manual to see the specifications for the tire pressure, or you can check the sticker in the door and see exactly how much tire pressure you need. You also want to use a torque wrench because that way you can torque the lug nuts on the car at precisely the torque that they need to be. Because you don't want to have the lug nuts not torqued enough, but at the same time, if you over torque them, they can shear under stress when you're driving the car and your wheel can pop off. So with that, So guys, that's how you change a tire on your car. As you can see, it's really not hard at all, not intimidating whatsoever. Every person who owns a car should know how to do this because you just might not know when you'll have to change your tire. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you very much and take care.